would say he's he's in like the top five healers that I've ever met. He is. Last year I went to meditation at this amazing place called Unplug, and um, I met this man here. He does meditation, sound healings. He's a musical director, a musical instrumentalist, and a visionary for sounds and frequencies. Philip Sharp. Hello. Hello, David. Wow, that was probably the best introduction I've got in my life. That was <laughs> so good. I was like, who is he talking about? I don't want to meet that guy. <laughs> so thank you so much. Great to be here. Oh, my God. Well, thank you for coming. I mean, you, you truly, I, I think last year, for me, prepared me, and especially with your healings and your sound baths and, and your music for this year, for this uh, yeah. wonderful, crazy, I, I don't know, wonderful is not the right word, but uh, crazy time that we're living in. Yeah. The time of intros introspection, right? Yeah. In a way, for all of us. Yeah. And some so, also introspection. Yeah. yeah. Where are you now? Where are you exactly? I know you were in LA for a long time, but. Yeah, um, I'm uh, right now in uh, Germany between uh, Cologne and Frankfurt, for those who've heard those um, lovely cities. And staying with my family, I haven't seen them in a while because I've been so long in LA. And um, right now I'm staying with them, so I'm in Germany. Oh, how nice. And, uh, yeah, I am finally uh, finally realized that next month I'm, I'm headed to be with my family for a little while. So. And where are you going? Uh, Northern California. Near San Francisco. Northern California, nice. Oh, nice, lovely. That's good. Yeah. So first of all, I just want to thank you for for you because you are so you you're so amazing with what you do, um, and what it says on on your site as well. You empower yourself with the fullest potential. Um, oh yeah, yeah. We all have the potential to empower ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. If we can see through the limitations of the mind, meditation is one key, we'll do that later. But I mean, if we can tap into the power of our hearts in every moment, I mean, we can shift worlds, move mountains. Yeah, yeah. So for those who don't know, what is a sound bath? A sound bath, well, Imagine you're in a room uh, and you're like bathed in sounds that are, have a very pure frequency um, that resonate with, um, with your cells on such a level that there is like um, homeostasis or, or a deep relaxation can happen that um, all the stuck energies that you have in your body can uh, be uh, loosened up and you can relax on a deep level so that you can heal emotionally, mentally, um, and, and, and also physically, the more you let go and allow uh, to relax into the moment. Because the more you do um, working meditation and also working with sounds, the more you realize that every moment can be sound healing. Um, even like the slightest noise, if you allow yourself to relax into the frequencies around you, into my voice, into David's voice, and just become at peace. It's become at peace with this moment. Yeah, you have that voice that I'm like, so, you know, you didn't even start the meditation, and I'm like, oh, this is nice. I need to call you. I need to, like, connect with you the week. <laughs> just, like, can you say a, a couple words? Thank you. Okay. This is great. <laughs> I can, uh, let me do your your voice voice memo on uh, on your phone like your um, when people call you you know this is the voice memo of David Zimmerman welcome please welcome. leave your message please leave a message and don't listen to this message if you're driving on the freeway <laughs> yeah. Probably. yeah yeah um, you were and are you are a, mul a, a multi platinum I can't say the word platinum and gold award-winning music producer, songwriter, uh, award-winning jazz mm -hmm. musician. You played in front of 35,000 seat stadiums, but you yes. weren't completely yes. happy or fulfilled. How, how did you find that meditation and yeah. healing? What was, it, what was the moment that changed that? Uh, my friend, you see, you think I was happy and I was happy. There is like playing, 
front of 35,000 people in stadiums and playing the big, biggest rock shows. That was amazing, but it was not all that I did because later I, I started doing music also more for money because some, the success was not like, um, it wasn't like always going up. So I started doing music for more for money than for my heart. And this is where the time I got more like burned out and really like, oh, what am I doing here? And um, I think we all have that no matter what profession we have in our uh, life or what we sometimes we like, there must be more to life. And um, I started like going deep into meditation and um, what, what everything that's out there, basically from angel meditations, Reiki, I... Ah, I attached leeches to my back to get really deep with, I mean, crazy things. Just, but in the end, um, I was just seeking myself. We can't, I, I just wrote that quote down today. We won't find what we are seeking in the world if we, if we haven't found it already within. And um, yeah, meditation, sound, and all that I'm doing right now is... Um, I'm like, I really like help, helping people to, um, so that they don't have to go through all that crazy journey that I went through and have. I found the most pr profound tools um, that really work to connect your highest spark of spirit. It is, it, is, it is there. We can feel it in our hearts, but not in a like a abstract, esoteric way, but really have tools to give you for every day to connect it with every moment because you also have a body. It's not about to meditate yourself out there. So yes, that's also sometimes like a form of escapism. It's more that you tap into that highest spark and then pull it down and really create thriving worlds, your thriving world. And this is what I do as well. I still produce and write songs with amazing artists, but I also like um, help people to connect to their high spirit and I do many things with that you know, teaching classes about sacred geometry, sound healing. I initiate people now into the ancient lineage of an ancient mystery school, which I really love, which helped me to come back to my essence as well. And, you know, if any, anybody resonates with this, I am here. I'm just waiting <laughs> to assist. Yeah. Yeah. I have all these questions, but you're just like, your voice is taking me into a, <laughs> in, into that space of, okay, he's here. He's, you know, just experience him. I, I, I could keep on going, but I, I mean, to go on your website and to, to, to learn so much of what you do. Um, one, one question before I, we, we go into your, um, into the meditation that you'll be giving is what, I know that the differences, there's differences, people, between 432 hertz music, 528, 639. What does all this mean for those who don't know? Yeah, um, I mean, to make it, to make it effortless um, and easy, as good as I can, because there's a lot of information in there. Let's see what comes. So, nature. If we think of nature, nothing in nature is like really um, uh, like dogmatic or it's always like flowing and moving, right? So um, there, are, there are frequencies that are very harmonious in alignment with nature. For example, there are frequencies that have that frequencies like sound frequencies that if you put them um, um, on, for example, you take a resonating uh, a plate of stone and uh, put some sand on it and then play those frequencies on the sand they will shape patterns and there are special frequencies out there that uh, form amazing beautiful patterns so um, for example as you mentioned there is 528 hertz the so-called love frequency it is one of the so-called solfeggio frequencies they are based on a very ancient gregorian chant and um, if you meditate with these frequencies or like just listen to them, and I have them here and we will listen later in the meditation to them as well, you, um, you, f you feel there is something going on because you, the cells of your body have to adjust to the frequencies you're hearing. And as you mentioned, the sound bath, in a sound bath, you will be bathed in so many frequencies, your whole body will resonate. For the meditation, I would recommend having headphones on so you get the full benefit. Uh, in a sound bath, the whole room is like resonating because we have big speakers, bowls and gongs. But um, basically, 
um, the frequencies help your body to become get into that state of homeostasis and um, relax because the more your body is relaxed to the deepest level the more your mind will also be able to relax and um, when your mind is relaxed the body can relax and the energy can flow because the thing is our world is so full of fear because of the situation and also our conditioning and the more we can learn to trust and relax more the more the energy can get from the mind where our fear starts and then can flow more into the organs into the fascia into the wherever it's needed and really help to stabilize and balance ourselves and come back into that holy state and holy comes from being whole everybody in its own sense and um, so this is where these frequencies you're speaking of can help us with well I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of your way and and I'll just uh, um, I'll just focus on you and I'll be taking the meditation and everybody will join in. Uh, yeah, you're not you're not you're not at all in my way or in our way. If you have any more questions, let's do it, uh, or we do it later if something comes up during the meditation. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, so, so, so shall I start and do a little introduction for the meditation? Sure, sure. Okay. Thank you. So, um, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for having me on this um, great opportunity. Yeah. So, as you know, my name is Philip Schott, and what we will do today is called the MAX Meditation System. Um, it is a system that has been developed by um, founder Gudni Gudnason of the Modern Mystery School. It's a, an amazing man from uh, Iceland who has traveled the world for four, over 40 years and studied the people and put the, the best methods together in one profound system. And I'm using that after having tried many, many other meditation systems of like from transcendental to Korea and you name it. I tried them and I found this me method is very applicable for the Western mind and it will bring you very deep as it also engages all of our brainwave centers, our brainwave regions. And because it's always good to create neural pathways and um, because um, I think maybe many of you have tried um, mindfulness meditation, but you always focus on just one thing. With this meditation, you really like engage the whole brain holistically. So in the beginning of the system, it has five phases. In the beginning, I will be helping you to um, relax your body because the more your body is relaxed, the more your mind will also be able to relax. After that comes a passive meditation with a river where we empty the mind and I will guide you through that process. After that comes an active meditation where we use a so-called kotodama. Kotodama is Japanese and means word of power. And it won't be a, a fancy mantra of Sanskrit. It will be very grounded word like life or earth. And we will be meditating on this word and we will see what comes up. Uh, it won't be those two words, by the way. Um, after that comes a guided visualization and a soothing down to bring you back into your body. The whole process we will be doing today for, let's say, 30 minutes, so we can talk a little bit later uh, about that. And um, as the amazing David mentioned, I'm also a music producer. All the frequencies you'll be hearing will be tuned to very special frequencies that will be help you to go even deeper into meditation. Um, the system is always intended. Um, it's good when you're on the chair, upright seated, so that you, the feet are connected um, to the ground because there's like energy also coming from Mother Earth coming. And it's not necessary to, if you want to do meditation, to be on the ground. It's also like a dogma that everybody thinks we need to be on the ground, but no. It's totally fine also energetically to be on a chair. And I would invite you to have your palms facing upward in a receiving position. And just allow yourself for this next 30 minutes to just relax and trust in the safe space. And just relax into the energies and the words and sounds, closing your eyes. And I invite you to breathe in through the nose a 
slowly as you can, breathing in love, light and healing. And then once you're full, hold it for a moment, feel that abundance of life force energy within you and exhale out of your mouth, letting go of all fear, stress or tension. Very good. And one more time, breathing in through the nose. Maybe David, you can mute yourself for this meditation. That's always helpful. Thank you. And again, just breathing, breathing in through the nose, all light and goodness and healing, and then exhaling. Allow yourself to let go, breathing out of your mouth of all fear anxiety, any heaviness, exhale it out of your mouth. Allow yourself to let go. And one more time, breathing in through the nose and exhaling out of your mouth. Allow yourself to let go in the safe space. And then quietly, I repeat, repeat after me. I invite you to repeat after me. Feet relax. Just repeat quietly out loud to yourself, feet relax. And observe how much power you have with your voice over your own body. Feet relax. Legs relax, legs relax, legs relax, and make your own voice a meditation, overcoming of criticism against your own voice, and repeating quietly out loud after me, hips relax, hips relax. Hips relax. Lower back relax. Lower back relax. Lower back relax. Always breathing, sensing, and allowing. Stomach, relax. Stomach, relax. Stomach, relax. Chest, relax. Chest, relax. Chest, relax. Spine relax, spine relax, spine relax. Breathing, sensing, allowing relaxation. Relaxing into yourself. Heart, relax. Heart, relax. Heart, relax. Upper back, relax. Upper back, relax. Upper back, relax.
arms and hands relax. Arms and hands relax. Arms and hands relax. Neck and throat relax. Neck and throat relax. Neck and throat relax. Jaw relax. Jaw relax. Jaw relax. Face relax. Face relax. Face relax. Eyes relax. Eyes relax. Eyes relax. Ears relax, ears relax, ears relax. Become one with the sounds. Forehead relax, forehead relax, forehead. of your head, your crown, crown relax, crown relax, crown relax, all organs relax, all organs relax, Sensing and allowing relaxation. Mind relax. Mind relax. Mind relax. Imagine yourself as a child. And allow this inner child of yours to relax. Inner child, relax. Inner child, relax. child relax. And very 
slowly start to imagine a river. A river that is running from the back of your head through your mind. and out of your third eye, right between your eyebrows, and send every thought that comes up into the river, and allow it to be washed away by the waters. gently bring it back to the river that is running from the back of your head through your mind and out of your third eye right between your eyebrows Imagine becoming one with the river and flow down that stream. Fully surrendering and trusting in this river and flow down until you become one. the ocean. Mother ocean. Limitless and wide. And imagine this majestic ocean around you. In every direction. Let go here, even more of every thought, feeling, emotion, any sensation you have within your body. From the feet up, legs, hips, the body, let go, imagine being one with this ocean. Be the ocean. Feeling yourself 
being carried by this endless ocean. Feeling safe. the ocean around you as wide and far as you can imagine in all directions as well as within you in every cell of your body allow the ocean to cleanse your whole being sensing and letting go. And slowly see yourself rising out of Mother Ocean and rising higher and higher. until you float in space. Deep, empty space. With infinity around you in all directions. Infinity in front of you. And infinity behind you. To your left and right. Above.
and observing what love means for you. Choosing love. Sending your biggest love to the whole world. And remembering all people what love is. in your life. Yourself. The more you can love yourself truly, the more you truly can love others. observing where you're not accepting and loving yourself and choosing love and acceptance here caring for that inner child of yours and even the adult self every part of your being, choosing to accept and love yourself. the 
this loving energy that is here right now that you created through your focus and intention and your surrender. slowly bring your attention to your heart and start to feel deepest gratitude within your heart and allow this gratitude to grow every breath more and more. So this gratitude becomes almost like a ball of fire of gratitude in your chest. It is growing bigger and bigger. everyone in your universe with your gratitude. But the more you relax, the more you can maybe feel that this gratitude puts a smile on your face. The natural state of our soul the joy, the goodness of our hearts. And I invite you 
invite you to slowly say in your mind, I am grateful. Just feel how this thought feels in your body. You can try it again. I am grateful. This moment, my next breath, my next heartbeat, for that energy that beats my heart. sensing, allowing yourself to feel yourself, letting go into the depth and beauty of yourself. slowly start to bring your attention to your feet, your legs, the deepest gratitude for your whole body, your hips, lower back, spine, stomach, chest, heart, observing what has shifted for you, upper back, arms and hands, grateful for your hands that allow you to create, your shoulders, neck and throat, your jaw, tongue to be able to taste, your face, grateful for your beautiful face, your ears being able to hear sounds, eyes to see, forehead your crown, for everything you've been given, grateful for the mind as a tool of your heart. I'd like to invite you to put your left hand on your right shoulder, right hand on your left, and just, you don't need to call it a hug yet, but just feel yourself, the palms of your hands on your shoulders. Maybe you can now smile, still smile, being grateful for the gratitude for this moment taking a deep breath in through the nose and a 
breaths, exhaling out of your mouth, grounding yourself into your body. One more time, in through the nose, deeply. And out of your mouth. One more time, in through the nose, and out of your mouth. And you can stretch, remembering all the goodies, all the information you received, and I would invite you to journal whenever you feel ready. You write down any information you received, the next steps in your life, and soon. We'll continue here. I invite you all to drink some, I hope you're in a lot of water. If not, if not now, but definitely later, as this is a very intense pro uh, process, highly energetic, and we need to hydrate. Definitely loads of water. And then whenever, take your time. I'm not in a hurry. If you enjoyed this, um, please, definitely. I think maybe David will say more about this also later, but check out my webpage. There is more meditations and music and healing sessions, I also do like um, distant healing sessions that are the most powerful that I've found through that ancient mystery school tradition. If you never experienced such things, allow yourself this treat, it really works. And, and of course, if you're close by, uh, I also do, of course, um, sessions one-on-one. -on -one. But I'm also happy to have David back now for close it off maybe some more questions or any experience how was it for you david welcome back hello yeah um oh hello <laughs> <laughs> welcome back thank you thank you it's interesting how Usually after something like this, it's very hard for me to talk. And it's interesting to talk now because it, I feel a lot of emotions. Oh, yes. Sort of like a re release, like a beautiful release. But it's, you know, when you so mm -hmm. relax, you just start to. Allow it, yes. Allow it to flow. Thank you for being here with us, vulnerable, and just showing your emotions. There's a lot of strength in there. It takes courage, and so thank you for allowing this. Thank you. I. It's interesting where you go through, and, and like you say, the word allow, when you allow yourself to go to those places and actually feel yourself floating or feel you. I mean, everybody goes to different places, but at the beginning when you were saying feeling love, I actually felt myself in my mother's womb for a moment, you know? And then I trans mm -hmm. transformed to somewhere else. And I know that when I would listen to this again someday, I know I would go to a completely different place because I would mm -hmm. be in that moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it allowing ourselves to feel ourselves. We're so closed off from really allowing ourselves to feel ourselves because so in our mind and when we're in our mind, we can't actually sense anything. And I'm not saying that it's, we always just need to be feeling it. It's always about balance. 
as you know, I also study uh, the ancient uh, mystery school tradition. There is a thing called the Kabbalah, which means uh, to receive. Uh, it's a Hebrew word, and it's all about balance. Uh, have the balance of emotions, feeling, but also like the sharpness of logic, and um, you know, I think this is really what we what we really need because sometimes, we, as especially artists, we sometimes get so overwhelmed by our emotions because we can feel so deeply. But um, I think I think also here um, to have the balance and know what balance is between mind and feeling, and that we can feel but also be very. Uh, uh, clear in our mind, you know. Yeah, yeah. I and as you were saying this, it reminded me too of of at that point at the beginning where you feel the love and possibly in in connection mm -hmm. with your mother, and then at the end, how you guided us to to love ourselves and to know the strength that we each and every one of us have inside mm -hmm. of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We can only love in, in, in a measure as much we can love ourselves. It won't, it won't be bigger. I mean, you know, we have to love ourselves first. Otherwise, we're attached to something on the outer. And if we lose that, we, it will, it's hard. So we have to really love ourselves first. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I would, I would just say everybody needs to go to your your website too, just just to see all the different things that you offer to clear, activate, heal, empower thyself, yeah. initiation, stress, yeah. rescue, spiritual. Yeah. There's, there's a lot, yeah. So, and we are all are on different we, we seek different things for some people they seek like tools for stress reduction that, that that's enough for them some would like to know more about sacred geometry some seek those most the deepest teachings and want to have these in, in mystery school initiations so i think there's there's a lot for everyone because some also seek just healing music and they can find it there and um so please i would love I'm happy to meet you all who are interested and we can talk. Maybe I can say one more thing. Every Wednesday, it's right now on Wednesdays, I host with uh, uh, the amazing singer of the band, Jack Watt Twin. Shout out to my boy, Roy. Every Wednesday, every um, every week, um, this meditation. And we also have a Q&A at the end where everybody can ask questions and we ask them to with the best of our ability. We don't say we claim all knowledge. But it's always very nice community. Um, you're also invited, David. And um, we do this I, I do this meditation system with sound healing. It's always different, and um, uh, it would be great to have more people there. We're like, honestly, on almost hundred people every Wednesday, and it's growing. So um, yeah, it's a good community. Maybe something for you as well, because Unplug is yeah. Shout out to my Unplug boys and girls, of course. You know. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And I, I thank my friend Rosalind Heim, who, who said, let's go to let's take some meditation classes a year ago. And thank God, because yeah. that's where we connected. And oh, th yeah, blessings to Zuse, definitely. It's the, one of the coolest places in LA, definitely. Thank you. Thank you, David. I think we go from here. And um, much love to Rosalind. Definitely shout out to you. Big hug. And um, yeah, looking forward to for more. Much love to all the people in your school. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this time.